Swanee River Keep here on the Withacoochee River with Phil Hubbard. We are doing a little last minute clearing before the mayor and chairman's battle, which is coming up next Saturday, one week from yesterday. We're using the John boat, an outboard paid for by Wild Green Future to do this. with the trolling motor on the front of the John boat, also paid for by Wild Green Future. Phil with the trolling motor on the front of the John boat. It's not going fast, but it's pulling upstream. This is the Georgia 133 bridge, so we're about to exit the park area, which is all this on the left here. This is underneath the Georgia 133 bridge. You could take out here but getting up that sand slope is not easy and then you can't even get a vehicle within a quarter mile of that so we don't recommend it okay so this is the outboard going from idle to full throttle so that demonstrates that it will move the boat along and we could haul people upstream to Troopville boat ramp if we need to. And here we have a target for a little trimming. <laughs> trash up on the bank from when the water was higher and there's bigger trash jams. Right here looks pretty nice at least. Right there is the I-75 bridge. Now that's right in the way, Phil. Now it's not. That's plenty, I'd say. This is a big impediment. It's also fresh since we were here last. Good thing we came back and looked. This is the $100 million waterfall 
It is the cleaned up outflow of the Valdosta with the Gucci wastewater treatment plant. So this is actually what you want to see. This is the cleaned up water. We have actually tested above and below and found less E. coli below than above. So this is what you want to see. This here is a creek coming down from the wastewater treatment. Norfolk Southern Railroad Bridge.